I'm going to work on step three of creating the web-based login from phpeasystep.com. Now I've already created a database with a user name and password account already in there and I've created the main login page that contains my web form where someone can type their username and password to log in. Now notice on this page, on this login page, the form action is to go to the check login PHP script and that's step three in this five-step process so we're gonna create a check login dot PHP file now I've already I've got my editor open and I've already started it off here I've saved it as check login dot PHP and I'm gonna create some PHP code now the first step of this is to create some variables and these will be variables for the various uh, for the database username, password, login stuff so that we can refer to these later on with our MySQL connect functions. Okay, so my initial um, variables here, they define variables for the host and this is, the, uh, this is where my database is located. I'm using localhost here in this demo process. Database is stored in the same place as the script seeking it out. There is no username and password for this little demo database. It's very low security. And uh, the name of the database is RalphCo7, and the name of the table specifically that I want to refer to is the members table. Now the next thing on here is to connect to the database, and that's going to be that's going to require using some functions, built-in functions that uh, PHP has. There, so the script will connect to MySQL and it'll enter in, enter in the host, username, and password that are described in these variables. If it can't do that, it will display a MySQL error. Now, of course, you could put in a specific error. The directions here actually put in a specific error. Can't connect. So we could do something like that as opposed to a generic system error. And then the, the next one will connect to the specific database, and the database, of course, being my RalphCo7 database. Now the next phase in this is to gather the username or password that the website visitor filled in on the form. If you recall, this web form that a person fills out. They enter their username or password and then they click login. That's going to take someone to this script. Now we need to get the information they typed in there. So variables for my username and my password will be received from the post of those text boxes. Okay. So I've got variables now, one called my username, one called my password. The my username variable is going to get its data from the post submission of the my username text box. Similar thing for the my password text box. Now that we've gathered that information, we can perform an SQL, which will take this data and select an appropriate response from our database making a variable here for SQL. Okay, so the SQL variable is going to be equivalent to a select all fields from the members the members table where the username is the same as the username submitted in the form and the password is the same as the password submitted in the form. So this SQL statement is part of this little variable, SQL. Now the SQL variable is going to be formatted using the MySQL query function, and that's going to be the result. So the result variable will contain the formatted version of the SQL statement.
So if the username and password match up, it's going to return a count of 1. If that count is e equivalent to 1, 2 equals, if the count is equal to 1, then a uh, is created. Session. They are registered, my username and my password match up, and they are going to be taken to another page, the login success script page. Now if it doesn't count 1, then there must have been a username or password error. Now I'll be testing this out and working on steps 4 and 5 in the next video.